Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to System Crash. Now, I think we finally tracked down Surev, guys, and we're going to hand him off Declan's files and see if we can finally get these things decrypt. Or decrypted, rather. Surev's apartment is littered with electronic components, blinking holographic readouts and discarded junk food wrappers. You try to ignore the clutter, stepping carefully over wires and around naked circuit boards, focusing on the man himself. A sharp-faced man in his early thirties, Surev speaks quickly and with a slight Russian accent. He's constantly animated, his focus switching between you, the encrypted files projected in front of him, and nearby displays showing readouts of dense, indecipherable code. No, no, even I cannot break this. I'm a genius, yes, but the laws of mathematics are what they are. Okay, whoa, well, back up a step. What's the problem? In simple English, please. The system they used involves a two-way key. This Declan had the first part of the key, the one he communicated with. Your Thomas Cunningham, he has the second. Without both parts of the key, it is simply impossible. It would take a century, at least, for even the best hardware to crack by brute force. It is... Quite elegant, really. Swell. I'm glad you appreciate its beauty, Surev. But that doesn't help me much. So you're saying I need to get Cunningham's key? Simply put, yes. That's your only option. He turns back to his other display. You can show yourself out, yes? Well, that didn't work. Return to Madame Ling, bypassing the Metrosec patrols. Mech patrol, surveillance team, roadblock, patrol. Ugh. Great. Round 37 with Metrosec. Let's go for the surveillance team. Find your way clear of the Metrosec roadblocks. Returning to Ling, you find that Metrosec have set up roadblocks and are searching for you. You're not sure how they found you, but you're going to have to fight your way through. Let's see what happens here. 50-50. And... Oh, I like those two... Uh, those two smoke grenades. And we get to play first, which is even better. I would like an open fire or a treachery card, but I don't think we're going to have that much luck. Oh, it's their hacker deck. Stellar. I am completely okay with this arrangement. Now, that means probably... Nil's gonna come in, isn't he? Yep, saw that coming. Hmm. Well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna send Nil back. <laughs> and then when he shows up again, we're gonna shoot Nil right between the eyes. At least. Gain 5 OP. Bye bye, Nil. So, unless they have Surev, that's probably the nastiest card that they have in the deck. Another Nil. And gain 5 OP. Interesting. Well, I think. Oh, wow, look at that. Maddox is everywhere. Well, the smoke grenades aren't going to uh, make a whole lot of difference in this fight, I don't think. Not by much, at least. Now, do we have seven? No, we have six. So we will play Asir and rock out yet another Maddox. Two and two. This should be interesting. Oh no! They do have Surev. Well, this just took a very interesting turn. Um, we're gonna play the wasp, or excuse me, the worm. And I'm gonna wait before we do Neural Backlash. That's all we really can do in this regard. Now, if they play nil right there, we're going to be in some trouble. Hmm.
Well, at least we're going to get 4, 4, and 4. 42. Okay. So, this is what's going to happen. We'll throw Jinx down, and we'll do two Neural Backlashes to lower them down, and then we can shoot Surav in the face with that assassination card we just pulled. Let's see what happens. 282. Ooh, that was close. I think we got it though. 4, 4, 5, and 4. Oh, goodness. Richard, Nano Regeneration, Metrosec Blockade. That's one. Uh, let's see. Mech Patrol? I guess we could try the Mech Patrol. We haven't fought a uh, mech force in a while. Let's see what happens here. And if we lose, we'll try another one. Redraw... Ugh. Oh, that's not good at all. But, we're out of options. This could be very bad. Hmm. And we got nothing but high cards. That was a bit of a waste. Throw Richard in. Nice that we're actually getting some decent guys. Let's go ahead and rock out Silhouette. Let us draw two more cards. Yeah. Draw two cards with the Lab Technician. We need some cannon fodder. Doesn't look like we're gonna get it though. Um... Let's throw Duvall there. And a Worm Virus. We've, we're, we're gathering nothing in terms of OP, unfortunately. Come on, where's my cannon fodder? There's my cannon fodder. That's what I needed to see. And... Throw another worm down. Leave it like so. Fortunately, the lab technician was flesh and bone. Two, two, two. Let's rock out. And we could do the smoke screen if we felt so inclined. Why not? That makes life a little bit easier for all of us. And we'll gain some OP. And there's a treachery card a little too late, but... Not a problem. Unless that happens. Now everything's going to cost more. Oi, oi, oi. Open fire is nice, though. I don't mind that. Let's throw Jinx in against the little guy. We'll play Neural Backlash, knock them down to one. And I think we can really start getting to it here. Because I think the worst thing that you can possibly do is leave these guys, let these guys live. But one of them's going down. They're going to be replaced with a really nasty one. I can tell by the end of this. And we got Richard finally. Um... 
let's open fire. Right there. We'll put Richard. That gives us seven to work with right now. We'll let Richard uh, get shot by him. And... Nikolai is seven now because of their card. Let's draw some more. So far, so good. We're at 37 to 9. Saw that. 17. Armor 1. On play, stun all enemy agents. Which sucks, but we're still going to... Oh, we don't even, we don't even gather OP. Hell's bells. Nice smoke screen. Good smoke screen. And let's throw out that. Yeah, there we go. We'll throw out a seer with the smoke screen, so they're gonna have to pick their poison on what they're going to need to debuff. Let's see what happens here. What are you destroying? Destroying the smoke screen. Now that's going to give us four, five. We're at 48 right now. Uh, what should we throw down? You're at seven. Oh, actually, yeah, that should end the match. Treachery takes out these guys. And that's all she wrote. Hendrix, Crippling Shot, and Freeze Assets. Now we'll get back Devil's Deal, let the Yakuza know. Return to Madame Ling and discuss Seraph's findings. You return to Madame Ling. Wei has already informed me of Seraph's failure to decrypt our files. Disappointing, but infuriating as he may be, the man is as good as he thinks he is. If he cannot crack those files, no one in this city can. Then there's only one option. We go after Cunningham's key. She smiles, but there's no warmth in it. Oh, there's another option. Challenging Amtec on their home territory is no trivial proposition. They command many resources and security forces. I could simply kill you now and save myself the trouble. She lets you sweat for a moment before continuing. Luckily for you, I have graciously decided to accept your offer. You may work off your debt to the Yakuza. Work off my dead how? The Yakuza maintain a network of communication satellites in near orbit. These satellites are vital tools in coordinating our global operations. This is illegal, of course. International law enforcement seeks out and destroys the satellites they find, and we launch new ones to replace those lost. There was a balance. Recently, however, we have begun to lose a great many of our satellites in a very short period of time. We have discovered, partly through the efforts of Mr. Surev, that the Hunters have developed a new technology for tracing our satellites. With it, they will soon eradicate our entire network. The consequence for our operations would be devastating. I reveal this now because you will help us remedy the situation, if you wish to keep your life. The Tracer technology was developed here, in San Angeles, in Western Applied Technologies Research Lab. Surf has discovered that Western has simultaneously developed a counter-technology. One could mask our satellites from their probing. Link smirks. Ironically, Western is a wholly owned subsidiary of Amtec. By helping us, you would strike a blow against Amtec itself. I'm all for fracking over Amtec, frankly. Good. My people have already acquired the lab schematics, along with the cloaking tech's project number. Return when you have acquired it. Call Turner for help formulating a plan. Uh, my friend, it's good to see you again. So what do I owe this pleasure? Well, to make a long story short, I need help. I'm in a bit of a jam here, Turner, and I need your tactical expertise. That is unfortunate. What is your predicament, my friend? I need to acquire some tech that's squirreled away in a high-security Western research lab. Not an easy task, by any measure. And I take it you want my help? 
My friend, I like you, and I want to help you, but that is a tremendous risk you're asking me to take. I know, but I can't do this alone, and there's bound to be wealth of valuable tech to steal from that kind of lab. I only need the satellite cloak. Hmm, you're correct. The tech we could recover from a cutting-edge corporate research laboratory would be more than enough for a runner to comfortably retire on. It would. Look, all I need you to do right now is look over these schematics. Just tell me if it's possible. Well, I can't say you haven't piqued my interest, and I do like a challenge. Alright, I have some time. I'll take a look at your schematics. No promises, but I'll do my best. Great, that's all I ask. I'll contact you when I'm finished analyzing your data. Turner disconnects. Ambushed. Of course, we're ambushed. This bounty hunter is persistent. That he is. Miss me, partner? No, not, not particularly. I'm not a fan. Oh. Uh, hmm. That's actually not bad. We'll keep that hand. Go on then, Wade. What you gonna do? You're gonna lose a card. And here's our open fire for good measure. Now, here comes their open fire. Hmm. You are not a nice person. That's okay, though. Neither am I. And we'll play a worm virus to start accumulating some OP. We can play Silhouette. Oh, Lord above. Yeah. Not good. Not good at all. And we don't have enough for Smokescreen yet. Um, let's go ahead and play Silhouette. Get two other cards. This escalated very quickly. Just didn't know we were dealing with an Anarch deck. If I had known that, we would have been dealing with stuff a little bit more careful. Knock you guys down. Please don't have Artemis. They always seem to have Artemis just ready to go. Yeah, they do. I don't actually think that that's part of the cape. You know what I mean? I, I think they never have that in their starting hand. The computer just has it. Ah, system crash. It's not going to help that much, but... You know, stranger things have happened. Jojo. Give me... Nil. Now here he comes again. With all the guys. And the ninth circle. That's game. Wow. I was just devastated. I hadn't been beaten like that in a long time. Let's try that again. Now that we know what we're dealing with. Hmm. Open fire, treachery. That's much better, actually. I don't mind Wade playing first. I think we've uh, heard this story before. We're gonna go ahead and just do that. Get ourselves some OP. Gonna do nine. We'll be dead at this turn. So, play the worm, and we are going to get Blackjack and all of them this turn. See? I guess they just have a starting out hand. We, it's, not, it's not a random thing. That's the only thing that I can tell maybe the, the what's going on with this. We'll do some treachery, get rid of at least two of them. Um... We'll throw Maddox here against Blackjack. Crazy. There's the buff. 
hmm. That is a very interesting way of dealing with how the game works, and we know from experience that they definitely have an Artemis in their hand already. And here's an open fire. Let's go ahead and make him go away. Hell's bells. With ten. I actually don't think the hacker deck is going to fly against this, guys. This is going to be um, rough going. We'll throw Maddox in, open fire, and get rid of Blackjack. We'll gain four. Let's see if we maybe we can pull it pull it back from the brink. Not when they're doing that, though. Good lord. I might have to grab some nukes. That's where we're uh, going to need it. Definitely, is in the nukes. Let's draw a card. Draw a card. And there's pretty much nothing I can do. They'll send shade down into another one because we had no we had no agents to throw in the way. Like even with a smoke screen, they'll take it out with Artemis. Ah, well. Okay. Well, it's good to actually have a challenge, like a real challenge again. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's see here. Yeah. We do have a nuke. Let's look at the cipher deck. We've got Andrew. We can take away Andrew and get the nuke. Actually, you know what? Let's just do what they do. How much is the Artemis card? Artemis is three. Silhouette, reroute. Let's take down one reroute for one Artemis. And let's go ahead and take down Deval and grab another one. So that might work, I'm thinking. Yeah, let's uh let's call that good. Now, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to probably play get another deck like finally accumulated, which I'll definitely be going for a Metrosec deck because that's just good stuff right there. We'll go ahead and keep that hand. And we get to go first, hallelujah. Here comes Jessica. Hmm. We'll play one software vulnerability for Maddox. Here comes Blackjack and Friends. Oh, never mind. Two Artemises, though. That's not bad. I don't want to waste an assassination or anything on him. There he goes. For nine. Just gonna put him there. That's gonna kill Jessica here relatively quickly. We'll have Rashard just keep on putting in that damage. Oh crap! I thought that was gonna kill him. Our killer. Not the case. So that's 18. Uh. can open fire, but I'm not going to waste it. Let's see if we can waste um, their Artemises by playing that first. There we go. Here he is. Two, seven, five. 
That is a disgusting combo. It really is. So first things first. That goes away. And we open fire on our boy there. And we got some treachery. So Jessica would take two. That put her down to three. Oh well, let's just get rid of one. 32 to 30. There's Zeke. I'm waiting for sh uh, what's his dink to show up again. Hmm. That's surprising that we don't see that. Jojo, right there. Let's rock out Nil. We'll throw Nil down. We still have three to play around with, but nothing that actually causes, unfortunately. Haven't seen Selena in a bit. Now, what do we do here? Damage of five. Damage of seven. Treachery like so. Um. Hmm. Let's throw Jinx right here, and nothing we can play. He's gonna get five from Jojo. Jessica again, count frozen. 37. Oh, stellar. That's game. I'm glad we played Nil when we did then. And we'll play the rest here just to say we did. We're gonna shoot Selena in the face because she's the resident elite. And we're good. Yay! We lived! You grind your teeth in frustration as Wade manages to escape again. You wounded him though. You'll have to hope it's enough to keep him off your back for a while. I doubt it. Hermes, Neon Monger, Smart Bullets. And an incoming call from Turner. I've had a look through your intel, my friend. Tell me there's a way in. There is indeed a way. The access route is tricky, but it's not impossible. I knew I could rely on you, Turner. So what's the plan? We will need certain authorization codes. A maintenance key will see us inside, but once in, we will need a facility's administrator's passcode and security officer's credentials. And we'll need to bring on others. It's impossible, just the two of us. We'll need to split up and time it just right. Okay. What about Jinx and Hendrix? They hadn't taken on other jobs since the Talbot affair. We'll need one more. Someone proficient in stealth. So not another Hendrix, then. Who do you suggest? Ghost. I've heard of her. Rumor is she's good. Very good. Okay, let's try to get Ghost. Good. I'll get in contact with her and the others. And I'll see about acquiring those access codes. Good running, my friend. Acquire a maintenance access code. Good deal, and we will go ahead and try to grab that at the beginning of the next episode, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it, it was cool to fight a deck like that again. But if you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.